Today, we're going to be counting out the top 10 funniest Gordon Ramsay moments. Quickly, before we get into the video, I want to announce this month's shoutout giveaway. All I have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below, I subscribe. At the end of the month, we're going to be picking one lucky person to win the giveaway. So yeah, let's get on with the rest of the video. Number one, his appearance on Hot Ones. Yeah, because a bit f***ing never cooked. <laughs> it's like eating a mouthful of f***ing sand. Since the since the show's inception, Hot Ones fans have been clamoring for an appearance from Gordon Ramsay. The web series Hot Ones, which features celebrities being interviewed while eating insanely spicy chicken wings, finally managed to nab the chef for their season 8 premiere. He did not disappoint when people have reached their peak in a profession. Ramsay went ahead and brought a few things of his own, including lemon juice, lime juice, and Pepto-Bismol. By the end of the interview, he'd emptied them all. Needless to say, he had some choice words along the way to describe his experience on Hot Ones. Number 2. Making Scrambled Eggs with Jimmy Kimmel A small knob of butter. Alright, another knob. You, you're crazy about the knobs, aren't you? When Gordon Ramsay stopped by Jimmy Kimmel Live to teach the talk show host how to make some scrambled eggs, one thing became abundantly clear. Jimmy Kimmel is a terrible cook. Ramsay spends the entire segment barking instructions at the clueless host as he struggles to keep his eggs from sticking to the pan. Kimmel's cooking with Gordon Ramsay would make most people nervous, and truth be told, Kimmel genuinely looks like he'd rather be doing something else. Number 3. His Twitter Roasts Gordon Ramsay is not exactly short on opinions. So when people started tweeting pictures of their homemade meals asking him to critique them, the internet let out a collective cheer. The result was hundreds of Ramsay Twitter roasts, many of which are as savage if not more so than his on-screen insults. One even insinuating that a tweet came from prison based on the quality of the food, calling some with noodle soup and I quote, toxic scum on a stagnant pool. Ramsay does not hold back. Then again, the tweets aren't all bad, as evidenced by the time Ramsay responded to a woman's picture of her fiancé's pork loin with the comment, marry him. Number 4. When he played, spill your guts. I've eaten worse. <laughs> I've eaten in a couple of your places. Oh. Right. <laughs> fill your guts or fill your guts. The premise of this late show skit is pretty simple. Answer your opponent's question truthfully or eat a disgusting dish of their choice. The questions were not exactly softballs either. So both men ended up eating their fair share of gross food. On one of the questions, Ramsay had to rank movies he was in from worst to best. Ramsay scarfed down a bull's penis marinated in hot sauce. We suspect he's had worse food on Kitchen Nightmares. Number 5. When he hosted The Nightly Show Salami, I've never had beaver before. The Nightly Show had a fantastic premise, featuring a different host for each week. For week 5 of the program's run, the job fell to none other than our favorite foul-mouthed chef, Gordon Ramsay. I don't think there's a single chef that can accept criticism like him. He did a great job and gave you or some of the short-lived show's most memorable moments. Some of the highlights from Ramsey's week behind the desk include giving his guests a taste test, having James Van Der Beek's head superimposed onto his for a cooking class, and a singing duet with John Legend. They even sang some of Ramsey's most famous insults. Why did the chicken cross the road? Cause you didn't f Cookies. Number 6. Eating Hawaiian Pizza You don't put pineapple on a pizza. Even Gordon Ramsay fans know about his aversion to Hawaiian pizza. He never misses an opportunity to disagree with the controversial dish. Famously quoting, you don't put pineapple on a pizza. However, in 2017, he was finally forced to try pizza with pineapple on it. He promised to do so if a certain number of people donated to the Great Ormond Street Hospital. Despite his complaints, protests, and general disgust towards eating a piece, he ultimately goes through with it. With predictable results, Ramsey quickly spits it out, saying right after, this isn't a pizza, this is a mistake. Number 7. Flubbing his lines on British TV If I make any more than six mistakes tonight, you're all coming to Clarity's and my guests for dinner. Gordon said, if I make any more than six mistakes tonight, you're all my guests for dinner popular British panel show that's been around since 1990, Have I Got News For You, regularly features celebrity hosts. In 2006, Gordon Ramsay was tasked with hosting the program for an evening, but things didn't exactly work out in his favor. At the beginning of the show, he promised to buy his entire audience dinner at one of his restaurants if he made more than six mistakes. Well, they didn't have to wait long. Ramsay had six mistakes under his belt before the end of the first segment. It was a refreshing change of pace to see the other guests turn the tables on the shift, as he ended up being the butt of the joke for pretty much the entire episode. Number 8. His visit to James Corden's hotel. Welcome! 
welcome to Home Tell Corden. James Corden invited the celebrity to spend a night at his home. Ramsey encounters every manner of inconvenience while staying at the talk show host's home. If your idea of a nice dinner is random foods arranged to look like a face, and your idea of a good show is Corden doing the karaoke, then this is the perfect night for you. Number 9, his Australian TV interview. Gordon Ramsay stopped by Rove McManus' variety show for an interview. However, it quickly devolved into a battle of wits between the two men, with Ramsay repeatedly making fun of Manus. However, it quickly devolved into a battle of the wits between the two men, with Ramsay repeatedly making fun of Manus. The host clapped back with multiple insults, even saying, I'm gonna stab you, chef. Listen, I'm not gonna start arguing with a dwarf. I'm not a savvy chef. No, I'm a man. You are, but hang on. Yes, you are. Listen, I am not going to start arguing with a dwarf. Listen to me. <laughs> he demonstrated that Gordon Ramsay is just as comfortable trading barbs on a talk show as he is in the kitchen. Number 10, the swearing jar. No, I don't know because like, you were being naughty and you knew it. During a 2017 visit to The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Gordon Ramsay, who is known for cursing, is arguably his most well-known trait. He was forced to pay up every time he swore. Policy was instituted after Ramsay's last visit, where he allegedly got a little too naughty for late night television. Unsurprisingly, the swear jar was filled up to the brim. By the time Ramsay's visit was over, it seems he's unwilling or unable to keep the lid on his bad mouth. Although someone just told me, uh, literally two minutes ago, that on Sunday, this country is going to be eating 1.3 billion chicken wings. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow guys, that's the end of the top 10. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Also, don't forget to enter this month's shout out giveaway. And let me know in the comments, what are your opinions on Gordon Ramsay after this? Anyhow guys, I'll see you in the next one.